Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to an 85 rated Yaya Torre player review. Yaya is from the Ivory Coast and of course plays for Manchester City in the Barclays Premier League. He is a centre midfielder, but he's that sort of player which you can play anywhere from CDM all the way up to centre forward. This would be because his stats are all above 70. Uh, the main ones that stand out are his 83 shooting, 81 passing and a whopping 86 physical. He is 6 foot 2 with medium low work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. This first team today is a lovely 3 league hybrid featuring all different coloured items including uh, purple, inform, legend and of course the silver and gold players. Yaya does a great job at cam in this squad however he is probably a better central midfielder and we've got him in this 4-3-3 fourth variant which is a very very stacked BPL squad featuring the likes of Purple Aguero again, Inform Ozil and Sanchez. Now it's in-game stats time. If you're watching on FootWiz, then you need to click that first link in the description. That will take you to the player profile page for Yaya Torre. Uh, and if you're watching on the site, then they're nice and easy for you to see. Now three stats which stand out for me today are definitely Yaya's 83 ball control, his 86 shot power and 92 strength. There are so many positives about using Yaya Torre on FIFA 16 and really not that many negatives. For such a big player, I was really impressed with how he moved with the ball. His ball control and dribbling are actually really good for someone so tall. Obviously, his 92 strength plays a big part in him shielding the ball from his opponent and making his way into attacking positionings where he can unleash one of his beastly long shots. It's also worth noting that you've got a good free kick taker in Yaya Torre. His stats are awesome. Now, I only have a couple of minor negatives about this player. Uh, his first would be his acceleration and it's only 70, which is a little bit slow and does feel a little bit slow. He's the sort of player which really gets going once he's sprinting at full pace. The only other thing that sort of bugs me is the fact that he's got three star skill moves. I wish he would have four star skill moves so that he could compete with players like Rude Hullet for the overall best all round player on the game. For me, these skill moves are where players like Paul Pogba and Rude Hullet pull away from Yaya Torre in terms of quality. But that's a very minor negative to what is an incredibly positive review on this great player on Ultimate Team. He is an amazing all-rounder and as I said earlier, feel free to play him anywhere from CDM all the way up to CF and he'll do an amazing job for you. I hope you now know whether or not Yaya Torre is the sort of player that will fit into your team. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Peace.